Good morning, children. Welcome to the class five social studies. So, continuing with the topic of the world of growing knowledge. So, today we are going to see about the Braille script. Okay. So, Braille script. So, this is mainly for the blind people, or you can tell visually impaired people. Okay. So. Visually impaired people, that is who are not able to see children. Okay, so those people, this Braille script was developed. So uh, it was a gift of uh, nature for those blind people. Thus, this script was developed. Okay, the person who developed this script is Louis Braille. Okay. The person named itself children Louis Braille in 1825. So he is from France. Okay, in 1825. So how it was no? Uh, so it was like dots. Okay, like this dots. So a raised dots children. So when you touch it, you can feel that letter. Okay. Raised dots. So, if they read, no, they press it, they move their hand like this means they can feel the raised dots. So, in that way, they can tell whether the letter is A, B, or something like that. They can understand it. Okay. So, in this way, the <coughs> visually impaired people were able to read children. Okay. So, this was a gift for them. Okay. So, so many books are being made into the Braille script so that the people can read over that. So, I will just show you from the textbook how it is being uh, looking, okay, your Braille script, okay. See here, for each letter, uh, there is uh, one dot. So, that means they can understand that this one is letter A. Or this one, two dots over here. This two dots represents B. Then horizontal two dots that represents C. Okay, like this. They have this for all the letters children. Okay, so for numbers also they have. Okay, so they can read in this. Uh, so it was Louis Braille of France. Okay, so this he designed this and developed so, in 1825, he did this. So, visually challenged people, children, or visually impaired people. So, the, nowadays, the government has made a special books for them so that they can read uh, what, uh, whatever books is available in this play, uh, country. Okay? They can read any subject, children. The next one, so that they, they can also lead a normal life in this society. So you would have seen now they would have also got a, a stick which senses any obstacle is there when they walk. Okay. So like that they nowadays they are also able to reach. Okay. The next one is this development of numbers. So early humans what they would have done they have used uh, sticks pebbles like that to keep a count. They may be rearing sheep, goats or dogs like that. So to keep a count of that they would have used stones or pebbles or sticks also children to have a count of that. Then later on they started developing okay. So they used the tally system like this. So now we are going to see this story of numbers. So this invention of numbers is also important to Okay. So what they did? Tally system. So this year you will study children. So first they used stones or pebbles, sticks. Okay. To count. The next is they used the tally system. So I will just to show you. Now at present tally you would have observed so many places the tally in software is there. So how now? See for, suppose 5 is there. So they will put 5 lines. Uh, for that 1, 2, 3, 4. For the 5th line they will strike it out like this. 
so this year you will study children okay tally so like this the tally system to do a keep track of animals or people quantity of grain how much quantity of grain they have produced okay the next one around 3000 bc around 3000 bce okay bce means before christian era so imagine children before 3000 bce the egyptians okay egyptians discovered the one number one okay so that led to many inventions like uh, they started with the numbers and the remaining numbers 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 up to 9 so what happened uh, uh, they should increase after 9 so how they have to increase so people were also not knowing they were using some form of measurements then by india india gave to this world the number 0 It was one of the greatest uh, invention, children. Zero. Okay, around 500 BCE. Okay, around 500 BCE, the uh, Indians gave this a uh, number zero to this world. It is one of the greatest discoveries, children. So let me just give one example. See, one is that it is one only, but when you add zero to it. it becomes 10 in the same way 9 is there it is one of the number but when you add zero to it it becomes 90 like this we can go on till now 900 9000 90000 9 lakh 9 crore like that we can go in telling it in the number system so the invention of this zero by the indians is one of the greatest discoveries children and then people started uh, using uh, fingers for counting okay so that formed the decimal system okay they used fingers okay fingers for counting so that formed the decimal system children okay the next one the romans so you could have learned roman number uh, numerals so roman numerals see the romans discovered this roman numerals so now also you write in your class standard no how you are writing class first that means you use the roman letter class 1 class 5 like this you use these are roman numerals so what and all they discovered 1 2 3 4 5 Then they get six like this. It will go. And for hundred uh, x l for fifty c. This is uh, x is for ten children. L is for fifty. C is for hundred. So this one also you will learn it in sixth standard. Okay, Roman numerals. So this Romans gave this uh, counting of numbers in this form. Okay, this is also Roman. This one. and next one is chinese okay china people also developed one chinese they use this abacus okay counting of beads so you would have already seen and many of you would have gone for abacus uh, class children counting with beads so in your lkg also you could have seen counted uh, using the beads one means one bead you will know Uh, two beads means two beads you will move number 3 means three beads you will move so using that abacus only they can add subtract multiplication and do division also children this four operations they can do it using abacus okay so so this chinese uh, did this counting with abacus so one more time we will see first it is by early humans use stones or pebbles on sticks next one is the tally system using the lines the next one around 3000 bce egyptians invented this number 1 then in india the greatest discovery to the world is the invention of this number 
zero. It came around 500 BCE. The next one using fingers for counting. So that forms the decimal system. The next one is your Roman numerals children. So like this way, 1, 2, 3, 4, the way of writing the numbers. Okay. And X is for 10, L is for 50, 100. So nowadays you would have observed the engine CC or uh, something like that. It will come XL. Okay. Uh, or LC. Okay. Otherwise you could have observed this 5C. Okay. XL. Okay. XL. That means it is 40. So in your vehicle this one you could have observed this. And one more is your dress size. Uh, small, medium, large, XL, XXL like that you would have observed. So in those places and all it is being used children. So the one more topic we will continue.